Everybody pray for me. It's been a day for me. Yeah, yeah. Alright boys, so in this video we're going on a ride. I'm bringing out the 150 GY6 Tau Tau, the OG stunt scooter. Um, but as you can see by the thumbnail and the name of this video, it very well might be time to retire the 150 scooter. Not only am I building the new Elite to be my stunt scooter like you saw in a previous video when we picked this thing up to build for a two-stroke 72 kit stunt scooter, but this 150 has just gone through it, man. I'm not gonna say it again because I said it in a bunch of videos, but I mean this thing's been jumped, caught on fire, frame cracked in half, re-welded, re-supported, like motors just thrashed, and uh, as you've seen this video, had another issue with the 150. I did fix it now and did a few more things that you'll see in tomorrow's video. That's right, this is three videos in a row now. I've been filming a bunch more, trying to do a lot more videos, so make sure you guys leave a thumbs up and support the channel. But yeah, we went on an OG ride and just did a bunch of wheelies, so if you guys don't like wheelies, click off the video because this video is just a bunch of wheelies and a bunch of fun on the Honda Elite and the 150. And uh, yeah, very well might be time to retire the scooter. Also, I just found a bunch of colorways of the OG Mop Boys decals, as you see. This one's double layered, but just the OG pieces. Um, and I might put them on the site. So if you guys want to see those on the site, make sure to leave a thumbs up, comment what colors you want to see. But mopeds, baby, Mop Boys, we out here right now. Mess around a little bit. I'm gonna bring out the 150 because I got the lights on it right now. Yups. It feels so weird riding this scooter after not riding it for so long. Definitely feels like my brakes rubbing a bit. I'll never understand the people who want to speed next to someone on like a motorcycle. Especially in the lane right next to someone. Sickest fucking IS300 ever! Right there, man. You heard how freaking fast that thing was? Yup! I don't see Chuck's brake light. <laughs> wow, the same time, that was funny. Yup. Shout out for all the glass. So much glass. A oh, man.
funny because I rode with Chuck a lot and I've never seen a wheelie until recently. And Chuck and wheelie. I really really like the feeling of wheeling on the Elite. It just like fits sits better. Like this thing sits really really high. Like I feel really like a booster seat. Look at me looking over Chuck and he's taller than me. Whereas the Elite sits really nice in my opinion. Coasters baby. Let's see if we can hit one. <laughs> Trying to coast. Until the light turns green. <laughs> the balance point right now, I can just like hold the gas. Oh no, I gotta pick it up. I feel bad putting these long ass clips in when I'm wheeling, but it just feels cool and I don't want to cut it mid wheelie, so y'all about to get a long wheelie clip right now. <laughs> Climbing up the hill. Climbing up this steep ass hill right now. Oh, I lost it. I'm getting throttle pump on my arm. It's so much harder to knee knocker on a scooter. You'd feel like it'd be easier because you're putting weight on the seat, but it's so awkward the way your arms are, like fully extended. Hitting the corners. Get some speed going. Damn it. Let's see it. Push it down. I think it's game over for the. It's crazy, we were just talking about this too, and I just said that every time I kick it, I feel like it's the last time. Oh, man. It just went through. It feels like it completely snapped on the inside. Yeah, there's nothing grabbing on. Oh, I don't know, but should I retire the 150 GY6? Is it time to give up on it? Because uh, this thing's on its last life. It might just become the the super beater scooter where all my friends jump on it and stuff. Um, so they have something to ride. So might be time boys. Leave a thumbs up on this video if you guys want to see more moped content and comment down below what you guys want to see. I'll see you guys in the next one.